In this forecast, a severe weather outbreak may occur in the Midwest today with a low chance for derecho to occur. And the tropics are heating up quickly as we head into September. There are four areas of development which one could become a tropical storm by as early as this week. Your entire forecast is coming right up. Storm Prediction Center has mentioned that there is a possibility for a derecho later this afternoon and that is all associated with the potential for a strong to severe line of storms to develop later today. As of right now, there there is an enhanced risk of severe weather that has been introduced this morning to areas in Chicago, Davenport, back towards South Bend, northwestern Indiana, northeastern Illinois, our main concerned areas today. There is a slight risk outside of that that includes eastern Iowa as well as southern portions of Michigan and as well as even northwestern Ohio and a marginal threat of severe weather extends all the way back down through Texas. And this is a look at the future radar for later today. As of right now, the line of storms is forecasted to develop right around 4 o'clock or so. That would primarily be back up here near Chicago into portions of northern Illinois and extreme northwestern Indiana. Eventually, by 5 to 6 o'clock, the line begins to extend. Again, if, even if it does not become a derecho, we are still looking at potential impacts of scattered to numerous damaging wind gusts between 60 to 80 miles per hour, maybe an isolated brief tornado as well, but the main concern definitely for today will be damaging winds. By about 7 to 8 o'clock, that line will continue to push down to the south and east and eventually by about 9 to 10 o'clock, it becomes a little bit more disorganized, but we're still going to at least see some scattered damaging wind gusts through areas like central Indiana and as well central Illinois. By 11 to 12 o'clock, we will begin to see just more rain more than anything, so we could see some isolated flash flooding in some locations down in central and southern portions of Indiana and as well as Illinois, and eventually going to the overnight hours. Most of this rain will just be mostly just rain. Not a whole lot of severe weather is expected going into two Tuesday. Also, there's another chance for severe weather back in the southern plains. We do have a, currently a marginal threat for some isolated severe weather. You begin to see storms firing up kind of similar to yesterday. We saw some isolated damaging wind gusts upwards of 75 miles per hour near Norman, Oklahoma yesterday. So that's a possibility today again. But the main concern will be damaging winds with any storms that do develop. You eventually see going to the evening hours, some storms shifting down to the south. Those actually might go into North Texas and as well as even into the Panhandle of Texas before they all shift down to the south. And we do have a huge tropics update for you. There is currently an area of development with an 80% chance of development over the next five days. It is Invest 91L with sustained winds right now near 35 miles per hour. It's not the most organized system. It's a broad low pressure system as of right now, but if it's able to organize a bit more as it moves off to the north and west, we will likely see this become at least a tropical depression by sometime this week. As of right now, the forecasted track is likely to bring it possibly towards the United States, so this will be something to watch for very closely. More on the track here in just a second, but we also have three other areas of development right now in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see there's one currently in the Caribbean that has about a 20% chance of developing in the next five days. We have a little Invest 92 back up about 600 miles east of Bermuda. That also has about a 10% chance of developing in the next 48 hours. And we also have another system about to come off the coast of Africa, and that also has a 20% chance of development. That would be to blame from the thunderstorm activity as of right now that's about to exit the coast. All right, we do have some good news for you, but let's first get into the track and what the computer models are showing as of right now. Here's a look at the GFS model that is currently bringing this, and it's been bringing a lot of systems to tropical storms and hurricanes, which none of them have really developed, but we've had very much consistency with this model as well as some other ones. As of right now, it is forecasted by the GFS model to go off to the west-northwest and eventually take a little bit of a boomerang turn, kind of take a sharp turn back up to the northeast, most likely sometime around this upcoming weekend, but you can see at the pressure is around 990 millibars. That's easily at least a tropical storm, if not a Category 1 hurricane. And eventually, that will start to move off to the north and east. But obviously, there is still a lot of time in between now and then. We could see things change. Here's a look at the European model showing a fairly similar instance as well, bringing it to at least a tropical storm, eventually strengthening it as it takes that boomerang turn off to the northeast. And eventually, that will move off to the northeast, not really impacting land a whole lot other than maybe the Bahamas. So, so a lot of good news from the computer models so far. But not every computer model is showing the same exact thing because a lot of Computer models are kind of all over the place right now with the placement. Since the low pressure system, or really the tropical depression, has not yet to develop yet, there is still some uncertainty of where this may go. You can see the computer models, though, are all over the place as of right now, at least the ensembles. You can see, at least as of right now, there is a very wide cone of where this could go. It still could go toward Florida. It could very well just go out to sea. There's still a lot of uncertainty. Again, we're going to keep you posted with the latest on everything that you need to know with Invest 91L and anything else that develops in the tropics. So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. 
Here's a look, by the way, at the guidance as of right now with intensity of the system. Could it get to a hurricane, a category three hurricane? Could it become a major hurricane? That's a big question mark as of right now, but almost every computer model has brought it to a bare minimum of a tropical storm no later than about three to five days from now. So it does seem like we'll at least get to a tropical storm level with how favorable the environment will be. Now, the question mark does start to become, will this become anything more than a tropical depression? Well, I think it may become our first hurricane of the season, but obviously there is still some uncertainty of where it'll track and as well as what could happen over the next several days in terms of the environment. But as of right now, very favorable environment for this system to develop. We'll be watching it closely for you. This forecast is brought to my Platinum Contracting and All Dents Repair.